Hello, so welcome to the channel. I'm just going to talk about some notes that I have taken today on a video about typographic fundamentals. So this is one of the things I'm going to be focusing in on over the next month or so. Uh, and just a bit of terminology to understand the difference between all these things involved in calligraphy, lettering, and typography. So, yeah, type designer is actually designing types to be used repeatedly. So back in the day, they used to create metal letters for printing, uh, like a font, essentially, that you can reuse time and time again. Um, Whereas a lettering artist is actually designing a unique piece of lettering that is only done once, um, which you can't really do with fonts essentially. Uh, so yeah, lettering is a lot more unique and uh, you can put in a lot more of your own character and take advantage of the freedom that comes with creating a one-off piece that doesn't have the limitations of a font. And essentially calligraphy is handwriting using a single stroke per letter. So literally like standard lettering if you're writing something down basically. Lettering is the act of actually drawing the letter out. Um, so as you can see here I have actually drawn it out rather than just a simple stroke per letter. And here I have been learning a few little bits of terminology. So the baseline is the bottom of standard letters. The X height is the top of the lowercase and the cap height by its name is the top of the capital letter. And so an ascender here as with a H rises up generally to the cap height as well but can go higher with some things. The stem here of the T is the main sort of column structure of anything like that. It also has arms coming off it. And the P here, as with the H, has a bit coming off, but this is called the descender, as it is descending rather than ascending. And yeah, a few other bits of terminology that I've learned here. And this specifically is a serif font. So all the little tiny bits jutting out from the letter here are what makes it serif. So yeah, peace out. So here I'm just doing some daily practices, strength and muscle memory and just strength and skills in general. I'm gonna start with some ellipses and yeah, some various other exercises that I've picked up in the past. I'm just gonna create a daily routine from it and slowly expand and add and subtract some of these things. Once I find I need some more input. So yeah, enjoy.
apologies for the dogs. <laughs> Quite like this. It's just her getting better at drawing like curves in one stroke, so just setting up three dots on the page. the stroke as smoothly as possible along these three dots. Keeping the wrist fairly still, more using the shoulder and elbow to do this and the ellipsis exercises also. doing one more upside down which can be a bit more tough straight line stuff now, so literally put a dot there, put a dot there, and <laughs> in different angles, it's good to strengthen this because it can be quite awkward, especially going backwards like this. I mean, this feels very stimulating for the brain, even if you're not planning on increasing drawing skills. It's just a nice meditation in itself. Shading next, so draw the cone. So I want my light source coming from here this side of the cone. So I'm just going to do some shading.
So, I'm going to finish there. Thank you for watching. I'm going to carry on with some of these exercises for a bit. But yeah, peace out. I'll post these daily vlogs and I will see you soon.